Welcome to Operations Analytics. I am Dr. James Rowe from Roller College of Business at Rowe One University. The topic of this lecture is linear programming. Linear programming is one of the popular management science methods being used in industry today. We will learn the fundamental concepts of linear programming together in this lecture. Look at the structure of this course again. This lecture will introduce linear programming to you. Linear programming is an optimization tool that helps managers to make decisions given many constraints they face every day. Among many optimization problems, it can be used to determine the capacity of production, service offerings, or scheduling issues. We will spend two modules to learn linear programming in this lecture. This lecture is the theoretical part of linear programming. In the next lecture, we will discuss the application of linear programming and try a few examples. Um, here are uh, four objectives that we are going to follow and to achieve in this lecture. First, identify the basic assumptions of linear programming. Second, formulate a linear programming problem algebraically. Third, graphically solve a linear programming problem. Fourth, understand the role of sensitivity analysis. The agenda is introduction, properties of assumption of uh, linear programming, five steps for linear programming problem formulation, and graphical solution, sensitivity analysis, and conclusion. Linear programming is an optimization technique for a system of linear constraints and a linear objective function. An objective function defines the quantity to be optimized. And the goal of linear programming is to find the values of the variables that maximize or minimize the problem function. Linear programming is useful for many problems that require an optimization of resources. It could be applied to manufacturing, to calculate how to assign labor and machinery to minimize cost of operations. It could be applied in high-level business operations to decide which products to sell and uh, uh, in what quantity in order to maximize profit. It could also be applied in logistics to decide how to apply resources to get a job done in a minimal amount of time. Linear programming can be used to solve a problem when the goal of the problem is to maximize some value and there is a linear system of inequalities that defines the constraints on the problem. Here are uh, properties and assumptions of linear programming. Um, linear programming's properties is that it seeks to maximize or minimize constraints um, uh, uh, given the constraints. Right? So you, you want to either maximize the profit or minimize the cost, maximize the utility or minimize the pollution. Uh, such things can be the properties of linear programming. Constraints are present and uh, uh, in many senses. It could be, uh, of course, the budget or the hours of the human resources that you are using or it could be the uh, uh, amount of materials that you have, uh, for example, steel or, or fuel or uh, coal or a certain type of uh, raw materials. Alternative courses of action uh, uh, that uh, this linear program is seeking for. Uh, for example, there are many things that you can do and among many options, which one is the best? And lastly, linear equations or inequalities. Um, so meaning that uh, uh, you have a limited number of or amount of uh, things that you can use. For example, um, your time is equal to or less than equal to 24 hours. You cannot work more than 24 hours a day uh, because we are constrained in the sense. The assumptions of linear uh, 
a uh, problem, linear uh, programming is linearity, certainty, divisibility, and non-negativity. Linearity means uh, that uh, um, proportionality exists in the objective and constraints. This means that if production of one unit of product uses six hours, then making 10 units of that product uses 60 hours of the resources, then it's, there's a linear relationship there. And certainty uh, means the number in the objective and constraints are known with certainty and do uh, change during the period uh, being studied. Uh, for example, you know, there's no uncertainty of increasing our resources from, say, 100 people to 1,000 people, right? But in reality, it's uh, actually quite difficult to increase the number of people that we hire. But uh, in this linear programming, we assume that everything is certain and it's going to happen mathematically. Third uh, assumption is divisibility. We make the divisibility assumption that solution needs to be in whole numbers in other words, integers. Uh, for example, we don't have half person. We don't have half car, right? Either whole person or whole car. So everything has to be integer. And uh, uh, these are also divisible and may take any fractional value. Uh, if product cannot be produced in fraction, and, uh, 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 but that is the case, but we assume that it can be produced in fraction for mathematical reason. The uh, fourth assumption is non-negativity. In linear program problems, we assume that all answers or variables are non-negative. Negative values of physical quantities are an impossible situation. Another example would be negative person. Right? We have positive one, two, three person, but there's no negative one person or negative two persons. You simply <clears throat> cannot produce a negative number of clothes, furniture, or computer, etc. 